Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Blue White Familiars. I'm making a couple minor tweaks. I think this is going to make the deck a little bit better and it's going to be able to power through the metagame. So what are my tweaks? I'm changing two Ash Barons for one Broker's Hideout. 19 lands still. This gives me a little bit er a better early mana so I don't have to cycle the Ash Barons after playing that Chancery. I can just crack it, play the Chancery, and then use it or whatever. Six Cantrips I think I really like versus aggro decks. I have four Modern Age because I feel like I really want that to be powerful and flying and attacking and winning the game. Two Deep Analysis, just trimming on those because the Ponders are enough to uh, get me flowing. Three uh, Lorien Revealed as normal, and then I'm going back to the Dominator Cleric. I've seen a lot of red in the metagame, so I'm just going to put that back in. And then the sideboard, two Last Breath, two Destroy Evil, two Counterspell, a Prohibit and a Negate and a Hydroblast. Four Hydroblast and uh, three Nature's Chance. So obviously with Ponder, this is uh, definitely the best art of Ponder, a little bit more expensive. And then, you know, there's no fancy version of Modern Age. That's, a, that's an average card, but this card is really sick. I think everybody that's playing Familiar should be playing Modern Age and not worrying about Seagate Oracle and Murmury Mystic and that nonsense. Let's see if in this league you can see why a 2-3 Flyer is a, a super boss thing for Familiars. <laughs> this video is brought to you by CardMarket.com. Check them out for the building up your own battle box or, you know, whatever cards you need for your tournament. They're the largest card seller of Magic in Europe. If you want sideboard guides for familiars, check out my YouTube, my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash That's all in the description below. There's also the Pondering Popper podcast that I've been working on. And make sure to like and subscribe, of course. I love it when I get to hear from everybody in the comments and stuff. So leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing, and I will see you in the matches. Okay, round one, we're on the play. We're gonna take that. Mm, I don't know if this is good enough. We're not, we're missing our third land. I'm gonna mulligan. I think that it would be wise to mulligan there. Now we have enough lands. We have double ephemerate. Maybe the second ephemerate's not necessary, so I can just keep this, put back the second ephemerate, and then play my floodplain and see what's up. I'll say done after putting back the ephemerate, play the floodplain, your turn. What's our opponent up to? Uh, maybe it's affinity. I hope it's not affinity. Could also be goblin combo. Find a, a cleric and a familiar. So these are all very good, I think. Cleric's quite good versus affinity. I mean goblin combo because we can get rid of their goblins, of course, by ephemerating. Let's find out what they're doing. Chromatic star. Okay, it is goblin combo. So let's play the familiar and the floodplain. Next turn I can slam the mole drifter and then from there I can play cleric and hold up ephemerate on the cleric to stop their combo. Or I can just drifter ephemerate here to try to get digging into a counter spell. They have a goblin matron. So that's going to get them one of the pieces of their combo. They find a putrid goblin. Let's just play the cleric. Do I take it easy or not? I can play the cleric, gain some life, play a land, pass the turn. I can cycle the Lorien Revealed for a land and then play the Arcane Answer, getting back the Lorien Revealed. They have a Duress. So I will Ephemerate the Domringer, gain some life, and then I'm going to cycle the Lorien Revealed, and then their Duress is blanked. That's all stuff that I was maybe going to do anyway. I was probably going to hold the Ephemerate. So no Duress for you. Waste of a card. Plays a land. They could combo off here, I guess. Future Goblin, do you have it? Looks like not yet. They have four cards in hand. We're going to Ephemerate the Cleric. Gain some life, I guess. Play my Archaeum Answer. Get back the Ephemerate. And your turn. Then my plan is to cycle for an island, and then on the next turns I'm going to, like, play the Mole Drifter holding up Ephemerate. If they don't do anything, I can just Ephemerate the Mole Drifter for cards, looking for counter spells and stuff. They cycle and Unearth. Play a land, four cards in hand still. They play an Impulsive Pilferer. They're not going to do anything. I'm going to cycle for an island. And then Ephemerate my Archaeum Answer. And get back my Preordain, I think, at the moment. I'm just not really scared of removal. Normally they don't play removal in the main deck. Okay, we'll Ephemerate the Archaeum Answer again. Get back the Ephemerate. We can Preordain. Familiar and a Faithful. So I guess I take Bottom the Faithful. I don't even know if I need the familiar here. Probably not worth it. Not sure. I'll keep the familiar. 
Let's preordain. Looking for counters. They're going to deadly dispute. Okay. They deadly dispute the pilferer. So they can create a treasure token with the pilferer. Then they can bring it back again and create another treasure token. I don't want these cards. Land. <clears throat> so we can like snap the putrid goblin right now just to make them spend the mana on it. I can get my uh, Muldrifter onto the table. That's Drifter. So we're now pretty much banking on the Ephemerate. We find a Counterspell. Uh, I'm not going to attack. Because they could maybe unearth the Matron to find the other part of their combo. Okay, they are going to crack. Making a black. There are seven cards in hand. They play Mesmeric Fiend. I'm going to Ephemerate the Muldrifter. So we couldn't we couldn't fight through Mesmeric Fiend plus combo here anyway, so there's nothing we can do. They take the counter spell, indicating that they probably aren't gonna win this turn. There's the first day of class. They loot, looking for their creature, maybe. Maybe they have extra first day of class and we're not dead. We could be dead here. I mean, if they start comboing, I guess in the instance in the so that I can have time and stuff, I would just scoop. Like nobody needs to see it happen, I guess. They cycle the unearth. They scoop it up. Wow. Did not see that coming. We got kind of lucky where the Dawnbringer Cleric really lined up well. So my post board plan is to bring in all my counters and then cut all my other stuff. Don't need the Faithfuls. I feel like Cleric is not that good in reality, but maybe my one mana counters are better than the two mana counters. And I can go down to two snaps. But also trim on one Arcane Answer. For like a last breath, but I don't know if last breath's that good either. I'll just cut one more arcane answer for a counter spell. A lot of the time, we're just going to ephemerate lock them anyway. Just mega counter spell time. We have a hydroblast and a counter spell and a cantrip, so things are fine. They play a tap land, go island, find another counter spell, preordain looking for like stuff to do. This is probably fine. A little bit heavy on the lands now. We're going to play a land and have to discard. So I guess I'll just Hydroblast this on my turn and play my land. All right. <clears throat> Hydroblast. They really messed up the uh, way that you, you use the Hydroblast. I'll pick this up. Play an Icker Wellspring. Land and a pass. Okay, I will play land and pass as well. So we could Counterspell something and then Cycle Lorian Reveal to play the Arcane Mancer for the Counterspell. Or we can just counterspell something, play the Arcane Mancer back to try to get back the Hydroblast. So I'm just going to use my loose focus here, I think. Got a very large amount of lands of uh action in hand. Let's cycle. Grab an island. Play the island. So they'd have to have all of the combo in hand. I'm gonna Arcane Mancer trying to get back a Hydroblast. We already got rid of one of their prospectors, so the odds that they have everything in hand still are not very good. They certainly could have it. They're deadly disputing. They're going to have three mana. So they could go... No, they can't goblin into first day of class. They'd have to have an untapped land as well. There's an untapped land. Goblin. Pilferer. Okay. We have a prohibit. I'm going to cycle this for an island right away. <coughs> island. Let's preordain. I'm going to bottom both of these. Don't want more lands here. So I can modern age and keep moving, but that leaves me only with having one counter spell in hand. So I think I'm going to pass a little bit of a risk to tap down to just one counter. Here I have just prohibit and hydroblast available. Sorry, bump the mic. Okay. I'm back. They play a dark dweller oracle. Okay. I can't do anything about that right now. We're gonna get in for two. I'm gonna end step kill the Oracle with a Hydroblast because they could sacrifice the Impulsive Pilferer to draw a card and then do it again with the Encore. And I just don't want them to have that available. They can sacrifice it to itself. They find a Deadly Dispute. I will counter the Deadly Dispute. <clears throat> All right, let's play a Modern Age. We'll discard another Modern Age, play the Island, Play my familiar. So now I have enough blocks for the uh, two two. We'll get in. I have just the counter spell available now. So now they have to have the combo plus a duress. Plays a goblin matron. Okay. 
They find a prospector. Place first day of class. I have the counter spell. Do you have an answer? They might have a second first day of class. Second first day of class, so they they get introduction to prophecy. So now we just see if they fizzle or not, and let them run. So I guess wasting the hydroblast on that creature was maybe what killed me here. They make mana, and then they can cast their introduction to prophecy to scry. If they have a an unearth here, they can sacrifice the matron and unearth it, and then get their uh, win condition. I guess they could just unearth the Dark Dweller Oracle and then win that way as well. They play the Introduction to Prophecy. Top, bottom. So they either found the Answer or a Scry. Find some makeshift munitions. And we're just going to concede here. They do win the game. It's going to take them a while. I just don't feel like it's necessary. Okay, try again. I think Dawnbringer and Cleric's not that good. I'll bring the Hunter Spell back in. The Cleric worked well that first game. Maybe we don't want the Modern Age. I guess I can play it. I guess the cleric's fine. I don't know. Maybe the deep analysis can get cut. All right, we want to play first. All right, I'll keep this and then fetch fetch an island and then probably fetch another island with the Lorien revealed. Or I could fetch the plains, cycle for an island. Probably better to just grab the, just grab the plains. Because this way I have an untapped land and cycle this for an island. Play another untapped land, cycle, and then pass the turn. I guess I want to represent Hydroblast here. Not that I have it. They have a land. Futured Goblin. I'm going to cycle. Island. Let's just snap this. They have to recast it and use their mana. So I'm trying to use the counter spell for the first day of class anyway. And then I can untap these. Modern Age discarding the deep analysis. Okay. Modern Age. Trigger, discard deep analysis, play an island, pass the turn. Now we can deep analysis from the yard. I'll just counter this. And then I can also, I mean, I could counter again on the next turn. I have Hydroblast again. I felt like I had enough counters that countering that was fine. Hmm. I'll discard the Modern Age, I guess, here. Since now I have the Cleric Ephemerate. Draw two. Go to 18. Did not find any lands. That's a big problem for me. Another matron. I'll counter it again. Oh, this interface is interesting. Okay. We have a land or a creature, a, a two-three flyer now. I'm looking for lands with the prior name. I feel like I have to bottom these. Finally find a land. Uh let's F6. If I can lose focus their putrid goblin. Okay. They duress me. If they want to get the Putrid Goblin right, yeah, they have to take the loose focus. Okay. So they're going to unearth their matron, getting the other creature. Skirk Prospector plays Prospector. Okay. Find an island a little bit too late. Let's island cycle. Play the land. Play the Dawnmire Cleric. Pass the turn. I'll exile your Goblin Matron. You don't really need to attack until you're winning here. They have a duress. Well, I guess I counterspell. They have to take the counterspell anyway. They have the putrid goblin now, and is that the game? Is that the ball game, everybody? Looks like no. So we're going to Archaeomancer and grab Hydroblast. We play the Azorius Chancery. I'm going to F6, picking up my land, and I can attack, I guess. Doesn't matter that much. We can block the 2 2 and the 1 1s. They have three lands, so every card in their hand matters to them. They have the first day of class now. We have a counter spell. I guess their last card in hand is a Pyroblast. They didn't have Pyroblast, they just have another first day of class? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Couldn't they have done that all when I was tapped out? Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> They've generated nine mana. They're casting the Introduction to Prophecy now. So we're looking for bottom bottom scoop. They went bottom bottom. Plays a chromatic star, they can crack that for black. Okay. First day of class again. That's a relatively good sign. They're casting the intro. Bottom bottom again. And they scooped. Bottom bottom scoop. Let's go. Scene round two. Okay, round two. I switched up the tracker thing, which is nice. 
I think this hand is probably fine. Let's keep. It's relatively slow. We don't know what DJ Disu is on. I think I probably wait on the ponder. So, like, what are we looking for? We're looking for a familiar, maybe? Anything that we're doing, like, we could do later. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, God. It's burn. Oh, no. Okay. They get in for two. I don't feel comfortable with my burn matchup. Oops. So I could cycle this just to thin. Could have waited as well. Let's just cycle it. A draw. Find the faithful. Let's ponder. Looking for another faithful or more cantrips. So next turn I'm going to play faithful and then nothing. So I have to, I think, shuffle. Cancery. Pick up the land. They called the rebirth their land. Plays another land. And a seal of fire. Okay. We're going to get in for one. They couldn't even have attacked first. Play the faithful and the floodplain. So this turn, I probably don't think I can block. And then next turn, I block and I flicker. If they have... They don't have the bushwhacker at the moment. They're going to get in for four, putting me to 13. They double kill the creature. Okay. Probably not great for me. So faithful into preordained. We're looking for a snap or other cantrip. Snap, we could snap their um, goblin tokens, make three mana. I'll bottom this. Pop the Mold Drifter, land, have to pass the turn. I don't think that I can really block. They went double bolt on the other one. Do they have just like regular lightning bolt? I don't know. Four is a lot of damage though. They're casting a Bushwhacker. So we're taking eight. We have to block. We're at six. Uh, so cast the Mold Drifter. We're dead to, um, I guess we're not dead to Lightning Bolt. We have a Snap and a Counter Spell. Chain Lightning. They just had multiple Galvanics or whatever. They had all kinds of burn in hand and we're dead. Okay. So I don't like the Counter Spell or the Loose Focus. Ephemerate, one Arcane Answer, one Deep Analysis. Bringing in all the Hydro Blast. And then Prohibit, Negate. Could even bring in Last Breath. Do I need the Arcane Answers? I don't think Last Breath is actually that good, though. We could cut the Deep Analysis, but let's do it this way. Last Breath could be over and negate. All right, let's keep this. I'm planning to go land, Hydro Blaster thing, land, Modern Age. They mulligan to six. So we want to get the Modern Age in play as fast as possible so that it's a blocker as soon as possible, basically. Play land. We counter their Goblin Tomb Raider. So that worked out. Play a Modern Age. I guess I can discard the Ephemerate. Okay. Play Synthesizer. Find another Synthesizer. I play a land. I play out their second Synthesizer and their Waste of Card. They Waste of Koldotha, which is great for me. I'm going to ponder looking for a Faithful. We already found the Faithful. Great. So I'll discard this other cantrip. Let's go Faithful into Preordain. Then I'll play out my other land. I find another preordain in a modern age. I guess I'm topping both of these actually. Play my land. Cantrip right now. Land and the modern age. Top, top. They call Dotha. So now they have, and they find a bushwhacker. Play land, they're going to bushwhacker attack. We're going to take six, going to 16. Then next turn we untap. We have a 2 3 and a 0 4. Lock. So I'm going to cycle. Play the Modern Age, pitch whatever is on top of the deck. Cycle for an island, and then on the next turn I can hard cast the Mold Drifter. Play the Floodplain, play this, discarding another Modern Age. Your turn. We want to focus on taking out the creatures that are not goblins, because we can snap the goblins, get them off the table forever. Put a Pyroblast, the 2 3. Plays an Implement of Combustion. Builder an Epicure. Okay, so we're taking 3 again. They have one card in hand, soon to be two, three. They can crack the implement, they can filter with the blood token, they have a lot of options. So we're gonna we can loot again. Hmm. I can discard the Loring Revealed, or I can discard the land. Do I want the familiar? I think I'm just gonna discard the familiar, play the land, and then play the uh Moldrifter. I want more blue spells, more stuff to do, more draw cards. <laughs> cards, draw, more of them. 
Find a Hydro Blast and a Snap. They crack the Implement. Now they have three cards in hand, as I said. Plays a Tomb Raider, and a Land, and a Bushwhacker. Okay. I'm going to block the Tomb Raider and this creature. We take 10. Now we have another 2 3 and a Mole Drifter. I'll snap your creature, untap. I'll evoke a Mole Drifter, going to 5. We already got rid of our 1 Ephemerate though. Okay. Find a Faithful. I guess I'm going to pass the turn. Holding up my Hydro Blast. This is very tight. They crack the synthesizer. They find a mountain. Plays a mountain. Is this yeah, only two only two bushwhackers this game? Okay, we're gonna block, block, and block. Going to three. <clears throat> they have a blast runner. I'm gonna go ahead and hydro blast the blast runner right now because it is definitely gonna become menace next turn with the blood token. <clears throat> I can ponder into Guess deep analysis. Let's ponder first. We can use the Lorien reveal to shuffle. Find a Moldrifter and an Arcane Answer. I'm just going to take the land. No shuffle. Play the land. Play out the Lorien revealed and draw a bunch of cards, going up to nine life. Your turn. We find another Faithful, so that's going to be GG most likely. We can go Faithful into Arcane Answer for Ephemerate and Ephemerate for the Hydro Blast. They call Dotha. Are you going to attack? So we'll take out the 2-3, or the 2-2, two, two, take 2 damage. <clears throat> I guess I would like an untapped land the most. Okay, familiar. It looks like I should just go Arcane Answer for the Hydro Blast. That stinks, but I think it's what's got to be done. Because if they top deck a Bushwhacker, I might die. I haven't done the math. We're at 9. So this is the plan. Eventually we don't die and then we're going to attack them. <clears throat> Next turn we're going to gain another 3 life and go to 12. Are they willing to throw everything away? No. Okay. Faithful. I can preordain now instead of just playing the Mole Drifter. Gain 3 life. Okay, they scoop. Good. So we're 1 and 1. Let's see if we can uh, take this game. Okay, there are some errors. Uh, we're back now. Uh, this hand is sketchy though because we are really slow, but we do have triple faithful. So I'm looking for cantrips and stuff. They play an epicure. They're gonna crack. Oh man, this is a really fast start for our opponent. Bummer. I guess this was like too many tap lands on the draw. Land. Let's preordain. Autumn top the land. We can go Faithful into Modern Age, and then Faithful into Modern Age, and then Faithful into Modern Age. But we're already down to 10. Oh my god. So this is a heck of a start for sure. What even? We're at 8. They have they have 9 power in play. I don't think there's a way for us to, to even come back here. What a start. <coughs> Discard the Ephemerate. Wow. All right, let's go to the next round. We'll concede. So I guess I learned my lesson that that was too slow, even though we had like our best possible, they had even an even better possible. <laughs> Seen round three. All right, playing versus Mazo 95. I think the last time I played them, they were playing Tron. Can't keep a no lander. Mulligan, this is probably fine. Let's put back the Cleric. It's a little bit better of a hand. Looks like they're not on Tron, some sort of blue-black. Play the Floodplain. So my expectation could maybe be that they're on Demir Fey. They play an Augur Bolas. It's not necessarily a turn two fake kind of play. Snuff out is. <laughs> All right, here's a familiar or faithful into a Chancery. Pick this up. Let's see if they just bam, snuff out, play a ninja. Cycle of Lorien revealed. Play an island. Snuff out. Is there a ninja in my future? Yikes. Okay, they have a ninja of the deep hours, so we can now snap it. Bam! We drew the untapped land so we can snap and get back snap. Then they can't auger and uh, ninja me again right away anyway. That was a good little turn. They preordain. 
They go bottom, bottom, looking for lands. No, they have land. Snuff out again. They don't have snuff out again. We'll go land into a faithful. See if they want a spell setter. Okay. So I'm not going to play my preordain right into a spell setter. Just attack. And let's see what they do. Like, I would, I would really like to use this Lorien Revealed. I'm hoping that all my uh, Modern Ages can defend against this nonsense. So they brainstorm into an Augur Volus so they get and a snuff out. Darn. <sighs> okay. They snuff the Arcane Answer. Find the Modern Age. Let's play the Modern Age. Because this is very important. Let's see if they counter. No counter for the opponent. We will discard a snap. Play a land. Play a preordain. We still have the other snap for a potential spell sort of sprite. I think I'm gonna keep both of these. And pass, I guess. We can discard the ponder to the modern age, just depending on what they do, maybe. They're going to cast down. Okay. They're gonna get in again. They flip the ninja again. I'm gonna snap again. Let's see if they counter. They're gonna counter spell. Oh, they flip another ninja. Even fancier. Okay. So I don't remember what was underneath the uh Mold Drifter. Oh no, we we preordained and took both. We're gonna discard the ponder, I think. Okay. Draw. Discard the deep analysis. Then I think I want to cycle, make sure I make my land drop. Then play out my Mold Drifter. I'll trade the Mold Drifter for the Ninja. Okay, we have another Mold Drifter coming up. They have a cast down. Okay. They're going to get a land with the escape tunnel. Get in. All right. So this turn, our modern age turns on. So it's a 2-3 flyer again. Or for the first time. They have an angler. That's bad. We're going to lead on a ponder. A flash and a sprite. Okay. I'll play a mold drifter. And play a land. And for turn, pass the turn. Planning to block the ninja and the spell starter sprite. They have another auger of bolus. We knew about that. Hopefully they whiff. They whiff. Solid. They get in. Will you ninja your aug your angler? Okay, they don't ninja. I'm going to attempt a preordain again. Okay, we find a faithful. Hop, hop. Play the faithful. They're going to spell set of the faithful. It's not good. Not good. Let's play Arcane Answer and return the snap. And that's it for me. We played another Augur of Bolas, Ninja in hand still. Revealing another, a Lorien Revealed. They play an Aquifer. They have Lorien Revealed coming up next turn. I'm going to block, block. Okay, they get in for five. Uh-huh. That's brutal. Well, we're going to attempt to snap. That just resolves. So they're F6 right now. Two, three, four, five. I'll hardcast Lorien Revealed. Let's go reordain, look for lands, find a chancery, pop both of these, play the chancery. We'll pick up this and modern age, discarding the ash barons. We are at a very low life total. They hard cast the Lorien revealed. We're currently at six. If they attack with everything, I'm blocking the spell setter sprites and then throwing the arcane mancer in front of the ninja. They don't attack with everything. We draw. You can discard the preordain, hard cast, and the mold drifter. We can answer with the lose focus here. That was a nice pickup. We're clawing our way back. Draw two cards. Okay. Another chancery, or we could just try to draw. I think I have to just play the chancery. Okay. They can probably play another angler. We're currently past them in cards. Play a fairy seer. So they could spell stutter sprite a four drop now. Next turn we're gonna have five creatures on the table. Plays another Lorien revealed. And a land. Okay. So I get a creature. Alright. So do I want to ponder? I guess I ponder looking for a counter spell of some sort. That doesn't work. Any order, shuffle. Okay, we find a faithful. Let's lead on Arcane Answer. Trying to get back the loose focus. I assume they drew a counter spell by now. There's the counter spell. Okay. So we can go God Pharaoh's Faithful. Draw. Going to four life. 
They have arms of our main. We're not looking hot. Play land. Play the modern age. We're just stalling. I love it. Discard this uh, planes. Don't need it. Okay, now I feel like defense is on. They've used two counter spells. So they have two counters and two spell starter sprites left in their deck. Augur of Bolas is on the ground. What are they picking? Picking another counter spell. Okay. Plays the Gurmag. Six cards in hand. They have a ninja that was discarded. I guess to hand size. You can draw. I'll discard. I guess it's the cleric here. Draw two cards with a deep analysis. Play Sunscape Familiar. If they want to counter that. They just have a spell starter sprite. Okay. I'll play Modern Age. If they want to counter that. Looks like no. I'll discard a land. Play land, deep analysis, going back to five. Find an ephemerate. Okay. We can just throw something under the bus, have it block the angler. I guess maybe I only have six blockers. They have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attackers. So it's kind of sketchy here. Put the arcane answer in front of the angler. Block every single one of the fairies. They have three attackers. Let's see what happens. If they have double ninja, I guess we're dead. I'm going to ephemerate the arcane answer. They have a response, counterspell. So they're going to now flip a ninja. We go to one. Sweet. One is not zero. <clears throat> we have mole drifters and stuff to back it up. Plays a fairy seer. Okay. So they're tapped out. They snuff out my creature. No. Okay. Discard a familiar, play Sunscape familiar, get rid of this, and we'll draw some cards. Find a flicker. I'm going to draw some more cards. This puts me to two. Let's flicker here. Draw some more cards. Find a snap. Go to two life. Grab an island. So they have five attackers. I can block the two ninjas. Or I can just snap a ninja right now, but then they can replay it. Let's see what happens, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have six attackers. So I guess I have to snap. What am I going to snap, though? The ninja or the auger? I guess I'm going to snap the auger and then try to play counterspell on the way back down. Counterspell on the auger. Play a Gurmag. We're still at two life. I guess they have the escape tunnels and stuff in their deck. <laughs> uh now we can't win, I don't think. I guess they're they're nearly dead too. Right, from the snuff outs and stuff. Interesting. We have five cards left in the deck. We play Murmuring Mystic. I'm gonna counter it. Right now we have six power on the table. Huh. Cycle. I mean me having the flicker in the yard. We have Ephemerate, Mortuary Mire, and a familiar. Okay. I think we just die. That's unfortunate. We died because I didn't have the flicker, and they just like waited the whole time for their uh, bajuka bog. We have one, two, three, four, five. Attack. They're gonna block. Okay. So I have mortuary mire. I have four blockers. So the only way I can win this is by ephemerate this, draw, and then I'm not going to ephemerate next turn. I'm gonna chump with my familiar. And play the Mortuary Mire to get the familiar back. We win! I can't believe we win! <laughs> that was so epic. Wow. Okay, we want the Last Breath. Don't really like the Domringer. I like to go like Loose Focus, Counterspell Negate, and Trim on an Ephemerate. Maybe Prohibit is better than a Loose Focus. Kind of all over the, all over the place here, but I want to be able to counter the Monarch. In the past, I've gone to two counterspell, two lose focus versus fairies. Trimming on an ephemera here, bringing in a last breath for their creatures. I think that's probably okay. I cannot believe that we found the line to win. <laughs> that was wild. We have turn one faithful. Okay. The reason I like that is because it blocks their ninjas and it stalls them out. They mulligan to six. They play a contaminant aquifer. Go land faithful. Turn two, play the chancery. Play a relic. 
All right. Pass the turn. No sense attacking, really. I mean, I could, but it's not necessary. So this next turn, okay, they're playing Augur of Bullis. So that means that we're free to go land or familiar into Modern Age. Play this familiar. I'll play my Modern Age. Discarding a Chancery. No attacks. They did not Relic on my end step. That was a mistake. My turn. Okay, we're going to draw and discard again. And discard this Ash Barons. Actually, that was a mistake. Should have discarded the Broker's Hideout. That's a whoops. All right, I'll play the Hideout. Grabbing an Island. I kind of just wanted more stuff in the graveyard, but that was, that was definitely a mistake. Because then I could have cycled for an Island and then held up Counterspell. All right, your turn. I wanted more stuff for the Relic to eat. Play a land and pass. I will play a land and pass. It's fine. Chancery, pick up the planes. And no attacks. I don't have any attacks. So <laughs> we're protected against the Monarch unless they have Monarch plus Dispel. And then if they play Lorien Revealed, we have a counter spell. In a couple of turns, we can play something else. On their end step, we can cycle the Lorien Revealed and then go Arcane Mancer to get back the Lorien Revealed. We have counter spell backup. They're going to get rid of the Chancery. So that's my plan now. Cycle Lorien Revealed, get an island. You can have double counter. Play this. Play Arcane Mancer for the Lorien Revealed. Oh, I did not need that much mana. Arcane Mancer to get back the Lorien Revealed. Gain a life. You're going to counterspell. Essence Scatter. Okay, I will counterspell. Another counterspell. Okay. So they've used two counterspells. Now we can feel free to attack here with the Vector Glider. Three cards in hand for the opponent. We're trying to resolve this Mole Drifter, but they have five mana available. They're going to hard cast a Lorien Reveal, drawing three cards. Playing an island, five cards still in hand. Gets rid of the Lorien Revealed from us. So I can preordain and then go like Drifter, Snap, Drifter. But it's unlikely that I will be able to protect it. Find a Lorien Revealed and a preordain. So let's top both. They could have, do I think they have Spell Pierce? I don't think they have Spell Pierce. I'm going to hard cast a Mole Drifter. Adding to the table and getting in. Pressuring their life total for their snuff outs and stuff. Play this. We find a last breath, which is good because we can take out a fairy. Oops. Uh, we can take out a spell setter sprite with the last breath. I'm going to preordain now. Faithful in a modern age is probably good. We'll top both of these. Oh, maybe I didn't need the second faithful now at this point. So I guess I can pitch that. We play a fairy seer. We don't have any straight up counter spells right now. They go top bottom. But we probably want to attack with the mole drifter. Or we could attack with the Vector Glider, because if they kill the Moldrifter, we could maybe get it back with the Mortuary Mire later. Probably doesn't matter. Enough out on the Moldrifter. Kills the other Flyer. Alright. Let's lead on a f Modern Age. <clears throat> they don't do anything. I'm going to discard Faithful. Play a land. Attempt to last breath your Fairy Seer. That resolves. Okay. Now we're just hanging out again, but the Modern Age is still digging us into the deck. We're going to exile the Modern Age from the graveyard because I cannot get it back with a Mortuary Mire later. There's another Fairy Seer. I'm looking to draw into a Counterspell so I can cast Lorien Reveal with Counterspell backup. My turn. Okay, I draw an Island, so I'll probably discard that. Okay, let's play a Modern Age. Adding to the table. Hmm. I guess I discard the Snap here. I'd like to be able to use the Ephemerate at some point. I'm going to get rid of the island that's in the graveyard. They get in. They have a ninja. I'm going to snap it. Let's see if they have a counterspell. They've used one counterspell so far. They just let it go. So the second main phase, they're going to cast a Preordain. <coughs> All right. Top, bot or double top. There's a Fairy Seer. Top and bottom. So the Fairy Seer did not do very much, it's just a body at the moment. Okay, another Faithful. Get a Flyer, and we're going to draw and discard. Just discard the Ash Barons and play the Faithful out. I don't feel like I can just hard cast the Lord Revealed into Counterspell mana, unfortunately. I'm just hanging out with that in my hand. Snuff out. Um, I'll go for an Ephemerate. 
Okay, so they use a cast down. All right. So they're now going to be able to get their ninja in. <clears throat> they're at 12. I'm at 30. And if they don't find a land drop, then we can hard cast the Lorien Revealed if they play their Fairy Seer out. They're holding up Counterspell. Find a familiar. Play the familiar out. That's the turn. So this is the problem with only having two of the deep analysis in my deck. Let's get rid of the modern age to the relic. Like if I draw a deep analysis, then I bury them. That's all I need. I just go waiting to draw that specifically. They play a fairy seer and they go top bottom again. Plays a land. Three cards in hand. Find a lose focus. So if I have Lauren revealed, I can probably counter through it. Through their stuff. Let's cast Lauren Revealed. Uh oh, it's a bit of a lag. Okay, it result it goes on to the stack. So Magic Online allowed it. We're going to replicate on the counter spell. Okay, let's see. Do they have a second counter spell in hand? It's like no. Come on. Got there. All right, and we drew a deep analysis. Feeling pretty good. We have the vector glider breaking the fairy seer. They have two cards in hand that are not straight up counter spell. We lost our one ephemerate, so all we have left in the deck is the flicker. We lost one arcane answer. They might have the bog still. This is where I go. Sons get familiar again. Play another mold drifter. Or play a mold drifter. Because we've already used one so far. Another counterspell. Let's deep analysis. Okay, so they have yielded to the faithful trigger. I'm gonna deep analysis again. Play a land. I'm gonna go arcane answer. I think they. Okay, they did not have an, another one. So they're exiling the, the graveyard with the mancer on the stack. Makes sense. All right, so we could flicker infinitely here. We're still just kind of chilling. We have a Behold the Multiverse, okay. They don't attack, so my turn. They went top bottom on the scry on the Behold. I'm gonna preordain, ponder and a snap. I'm gonna bottom the snap, top the ponder. Ponder, any bunch of life. Counterspell Modern Age. Yes, I take the counterspell right now. Play the Chancery, pick up the planes, play Faithful. I don't know. I, I, maybe I didn't need to play the Faithful there. I could just discard the Faithful to the Modern Age. I was thinking I would discard the planes, and I have the other land drop lined up. They have a Brainstorm. They're going to draw three cards. I think this is still game two, so this is pretty wild. It's grindy. Snuff out. Um. Okay. Yes. Get in for one. They have an Okiba Gang Shinobi. Annoying. Discard the counter spell and the land. Plays the Fairy Seer again. We have so many creatures in play and none of them do anything. Modern Age is going to discard this island that's on top. Pass the turn. They can't get through with their, their Okiba Gang anymore, and I'm pretty sure they only have one of them. They might have another ninja. We haven't seen any monarch from the opponent. There's another ninja of the deep hours. And they're pretty bricked on the ground so far. They draw a card. Plays a fairy seer. They go top bottom, play a land. Four cards in hand. Mole Drifter and an Arcane Answer. Oh man, scary. I guess I'd discard the flicker. Cast the Mole Drifter. See if they have the counter spell. Seems like they don't have the counter spell. So we can play Arcane Answer, getting back flicker. Okay. Now that I drew another Mold Drifter, I'll play that first. Play Arcane Answer. We'll return the Flicker. Assuming they don't have another counter spell for some reason. And since I have this Snap here, I can Flicker and then Snap through Removal. Flicker. Okay, that's the game, I guess. Get back counter spell. And get back Flicker. Play my land. And I will say go. And then I can start uh, snapping them out or something. I can attack. Next turn, maybe. I like to take my time. I've got plenty of time. Okay, they're just passing. They still have four cards in hand. They played a tap land. Find the Mortuary Mire. Okay, first thing, attack with everything. Or just my two guys. My two Drifties. Put you to four. Right? I'll snap. Hmm. Let's flicker here. Enough out. Uh, okay, I'll snap it. They have a count. They have spells that are sprite. 
I'll attempt to counter your spell star sprite. Another sprite. Okay. So we still draw off of the flicker. And then we can Mortuary Mire put the thing back. They counter the counter spell. And I assume they're going to counter the snap still and not the flicker. They counter the snap. So the flicker is going to resolve. The snuff out is going to resolve first. The flicker resolves. We play Mortuary Mire. Get back the Arcane Mancer. Then we ponder into the Arcane Mancer. Greedy? Who's greedy? All right, I'll play my Arcane Mancer. Oh, no, so GG's so greedy. I guess so. Flicker. And I'm going to flicker to get back the counter spell. Okay, targeting the counter spell over here, get to, getting back the flicker. I just need to be able to uh, make sure I get my flicker. Okay. I'm surprised that they did not have a monarch in their deck. All right, GG opponent. Go to round four. Okay, round four, we're on the play versus Bobby Flocky, probably an aggro player. I'm going to keep this mostly on the strength of a familiar snap. Uh, it's obviously very, very slow. We're not doing anything until turn three. Let's play the Mortuary Mire and pass the turn. What are you up to, Flocky? Dross Forge Bridge. Play this. I wonder if they're also on Mogwarts or the Goblin combo deck. Let's see, let's see. Chromatic Star, I think it's going to be Goblin combo. Play a Familiar, play Mortuary Mire. Your turn. Kind of surprised to see so much of this, but let's see. They crack the Chromatic Star for red. Just cycling it. Play Mesmeric Fiend. Okay. Play a, they take a Ponder. Play an Impulsive Pilferer. Kind of Faithful. I'm going to go with Preordain. At the bottom, both of these. I'm looking for a land. Okay, I find a Lorien Revealed. So I'll cycle this for an island. Grab the island, play the island, and play the familiar. So we have blocks. They don't seem to have the combo right now. They were trying to disrupt our hand. This next turn we can go like Faithful, Manser, get Lorien, cycle Lorien for an island, play the island, play, even snap the Manser, replay the Manser. Unsure exactly what we want to do. And now they're tapping two mana. <clears throat> Makeshift munitions from the opponent. So they can sacrifice their creatures to ping down my creatures. Play a Bajukabog. Gurg Prospector. Okay. Let's go Faithful. Snap the Prospector. I expect they let that resolve. Untap. Play the Modern Age. Draw. Discard a Faithful. Play Modern Age. Come on. Let's draw. We discard. Seems like maybe the Arcane Answer is the right thing to discard. Play the land. Pass the turn. We're going to loot twice on the next turn. Looking to loot, just trying to find like the more card draw. So they have, now they have the full combo pieces. All they need is the first day of class. They find a Dark Dweller Oracle so that they can start pulling. They're going to pick up their Bajukabog. Play the Skirk Prospector. Okay. Not going to be quite so easy this time. We're going to discard a land likely. Or a land. Or a land, unfortunate. That's the turn. I got nothing going on. My shields are down. I got nothing. <clears throat> what are they going to do? So I guess they maybe try to think about it, but I'm going to attack. That's completely unnecessary. All right, I got myself a block. They play the Dark Dweller Oracle. Now they can sacrifice their creature. They sacrifice the Impulsive Pilferer. What do they find? Skirk Prospector. So they get another Goblin onto the field. Plays the Prospector. Maybe I shouldn't have F6'd. I just don't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> uh, they sacrifice, find a Vault of Whispers. Plays the Vault. Passing the turn. We get two creatures. I'm going to Ephemerate one of them. Because this allows me to get a draw off. We're going to loot, discarding familiar. <laughs> okay. So next turn I can ephemerate the other vector glider and loot again. This isn't going super great. There. Am I dead? I'm ready to concede. There we go. I got it. Both Baki Flocky, not Bobby Flocky. All the Hydroblasts. 
You want cut on the faithfuls. Definitely want the negate and the prohibit. Then I can cut an arcane minutes if I counterspell. Seems like I probably do want the cleric because they have makeshift munitions in their deck. Okay, here we go. And keep a one lander. Oh man. Okay, now we have multiple lands. We put back arcane answer. Opponent also mold to six. So maybe I just go like put back the arcane answer and the negate. And then go done. Play the land. Pass the turn. So I'm gonna cycle for an island, play the planes and the familiar, turn three deep analysis. They have a duress, so that's good for me because it puts the deep analysis into the graveyard. But another deep analysis. Okay, familiar, go. Play a land. Puts deep analysis from the graveyard. Play broker's hideout and F6. Grabbing an island. Probably just going to play Moldrifter for next turn. Like, if they're going to win this fast, I mean, I don't have I don't have to just, like, represent something because I don't have anything to represent. They play an Icker Wellspring. Rectos Carnarian picking up the swamp. We now have a Moldrifter. We draw some cards. No counters yet. Plays a land. I think maybe I want to double deep analysis this turn if they don't kill me right now. I could just be dead. So it's like the frustration for familiar players playing against combo. Couldn't really do anything. They had the negate for, or they had the duress for my negate regardless. So we just see if they just whiff. Our one opponent whiffed. Okay, they have the Matron, so I guess they can reveal their win condition. We know they have Dark Dweller in their deck. I'm just going to concede. Okay, round five. Round five, we're on the play, and we have a decent hand. Turn two Familiar, and a Cantrip. Our opponent mulligans to six. Let's see what they're up to. I'll play my planes and pass the turn. I like to do a yield until next end step to just like not waste too much time. They play a planes as well. Probably a Thraven Inspector, and it's a Thraven Inspector. So it's probably Boros, I would imagine. Uh, I think maybe I just preordain here. Okay, I find two lands. That's pretty good. So if they play a second creature, I can go Familiar, Snap, Snap, Drift, or Ephemerate. Depending on what they do. They're getting in with a Thraven. There's a second Novice Inspector. They're Black-White. Okay. So Black-White's a little bit different because they have Tiding Blades and stuff. Play this broker's hideout and pass the turn. Getting an island. I don't really want to just jam Sun to get familiar into a tithing blade. They can get in for two, that's fine. Let's see what they're gonna do now though. Plays a planes. Windhawk picking up a clue token. That's definitely good for me. I can snap the Glenhawk. Play a familiar. I'll snap the Glenhawk. Bonk. Play another familiar. So now if they Tithing Blade, I guess if they Tithing Blade, then I'm allowing them to pick it up with a Glenhawk, which isn't probably not great for me. They crack the clue. Okay. I was just thinking like I could snap in response to a regular removal spell. Play a Lembus. Okay. Not a Tithing Blade. And they don't have black mana right now, so I can Drifter Ephemerate and not be too super scared. I feel like as soon as my Drifter Ephemerate engine starts going, then I am probably more unbeatable versus them. But if I don't get it going, then I'm kind of like stalled. Okay. They Play Scoured Barons, no attacks. This is a mid range. They are attacking. Fine. We will drift our ephemerate first. Dang it. Misclicked. Okay. Draw two cards. Book resolves. Draw two cards again. So I could Drifter Snap Drifter. That sounds good. So turn the snap into a draw two. Snap it. Okay. Then I can. Cycle for another island, hold up the loose focus for you know their tithing blade and stuff, and I can trade the current mold drifter for the Glenhawk, then mortuary mire it back and play another mold drifter, drawing the other mold drifter. They're getting in. I'm gonna block. So this is part of the power of mortuary mire. It kind of turns your mold drifters into a removal spell, and we buy it back. Play a Lembus, That's fine. If they play like a Core Sky Fisher, I feel like it's fine to lose focus the Core Sky Fisher. All right. What do you got? Pass down on Familiar. All right. I think I am going to counter. Let's see if they have a bog. Just a Scoured Barons. Okay. Oh. 
I forgot that we had the ephemerae going. That's my fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mortuary Mario back to Mole Drifter. It's getting late for me. Sorry about the punts. Okay. Uh, let's pass. Next turn I can start um, getting my Modern Ages into play. In this case, like they have a bunch of mana, so pre or prohibit would be better for me here than the loose focus. Loose focus is like not very good because I keep having to hold up two mana. Although if loose focus were straight up counter spell, I'd still have to hold up two mana. Just counter your creature. Do I even care? I don't think so. Okay. Ah, uh, we'll let the Glenhawk resolve. So tired. I'm sorry. Here we go. Play Mold Drifter. Three mana left over. They land in Modern Age. Discard the Ponder. Find, I can play another Modern Age. Discard the Preordain and pass the turn. I guess on my upkeep, I can Ephemerate just for extra cards so I can see what I want to discard to the Modern Ages. Well, that doesn't have to happen on the upkeep. There's an Ancestral Blade. Let's counterspell the Ancestral Blade. I think I saw this deck in the League postings. They have a lot of equipment to make their creatures bigger and more threatening getting in i'm not going to block this turn go to 14. they play another lembus plays a land another lembus and tripping away yeah go to my main phase and find a snap let's ephemerate a mold drifter okay let's discard this ponder well maybe the ash baron's here Try to ponder island cycle Grab the Glacial Floodplain, play that. We'll go Mold Drifter, Snap Mold Drifter. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna untap my two white lands and play the familiar. Oh, the familiar's already in play. And then we can go Arcane Mancer, back Ephemerate, then Ephemerate, get back Counterspell. And then I think I can just attack, I guess, but they scoop it up. That was a very, um, Sloppy. That was sloppy on my end. So they're probably going to bring in multiple removal spells or m multiple like relic stuff. I think I'm going to get rid of the Dawnmare Cleric and a Snap. I like the Last Breaths better than the Snap, I think. And then I want the Prohibit over the Loose Focus or maybe over the Counter Spell. I want to negate. All right. One Nature's Chant, one Last Breath. And then we're focused on stuff that for one pip can counter their things. Okay, well we can get going. So this this land would be better as a broker's hideout here. We play a three minute inspector on turn one. A okay, land, cycle, grab a planes. So my turn two is faithful ponder, and then we'll see what's up from there. The bajuka bog. They probably only have the bajuka bog as their second land. Get in for one, or they might have a balanced land and want to pick it back up. Or they might have, like, that's their only black source. So, usually we want to ponder first and see if it's good, I guess. This seems fine. No shuffle. I like making the land drops here because we can just keep playing all our stuff out. Okay, they had to play the bog so that they had the black mana for the deadly dispute on their clue. I think they're whiffing on lands and considering scooping. Uh-oh. Right, they're getting... They're doing nothing. Go faithful. Preordain. I do want the land here because that allows me to play the Lorian. Don't think I need the other snap. Play the Chancery. Pick this up. Your turn. If they tap out again, then I can snap their creature and slam a Mold Drifter. And then the next turn, put them play another Mold Drifter. Okay, they scooped it up. I guess two and two. You know what? That's fine. So what did we lose against? We lost against like really hyper good draws and gain three from burn and then we got completely destroyed by goblin combo whereas we also beat goblin combo in another game i feel like goblin combo is like probably a negative matchup for familiars that they can generally beat us but sometimes they just don't draw very well and they don't win so overall i i feel like i'm happy with the list as is i like the cantrip versions I just don't know exactly how I want to uh, fill out the rest of the deck. So like all the modern ages and ponders are good. I, sometimes, you know, if you face more blue decks, you want more deep analysis. I think keeping the, the total like mana curve low is probably what you want to be doing. 
All right, so if you made it to the end, hashtag still listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.